David Leach's bullet train is either a suggestion or a warning, and it takes itself about as seriously as crank smoke and aces or shoot him up. When compared to Netflix's The Gray Man, the John Wick and Atomic Blonde filmmaker successfully transmits his style of electric magnetic action with all the outrageousness of those action movies from the early 2000s. The action comedy components aren't always successful, but there's still enough zip and humility to let the good times roll. It's a sign of optimism that American action can be both colorful and wild. Everything that's ever happened to you is going to hurt. Brad Pitt stars, a hitman known as Ladybug, is back in work for what ought to be a straightforward smash and grab mission. As he continues to encounter more unexpected challenges, the promised comfort becomes the source of the comedy in the movie. Although the killer, Bullet Train is more than simply Pitt's comic firing range. Everyone has their stick, which is fine, and Bullet Train isn't aiming for anything more complex than warring mercenaries fighting over scores. Rogue's Gallery sells the eccentricities of Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry under the codenames Tangerine and Lemon, the latter of whom is a Thomas the Tank Engine enthusiast. The martial arts prowess of Andrew Koji and Hiroyuki Sonata is brought to bear on the railroad battlefields, although some viewers may be let down by the fact that the biggest explosions are left for the conclusion. Leech's action choreography fails prior its just more short burst easily editable brawls with actors like Henry and Pitt Koji single-handedly demolishes adversaries in Cinemax series Warrior yet is saddled with Joey King's schoolgirl Sweet Prince here for reasons that will leave undefined there are elements of bullet train that fall victim to America's less fluid and more clunky action and yet it's never as. Pitt's ability to inject laughter into his action sequences makes all the difference. Ladybug continues to recite his therapist's lessons to counteract Tangerine's brazen aggression or criminal boss the White Death's unresolved rage issues, and Pitt's disposition does not allow the gimmick to drown out Henry's accomplishments. The same with Lemon's Thomas the Tank Engine wisdom as he keeps scouring the bullet train to Kyoto for a diesel aka the main villain complicating everyone's tangled missions there are plenty of cackle allowed moments like when the sound designers use the perfect thud noise when Ladybug hits Tangerine in the noggin with a glass water bottle even if other gags don't land quite as well thematic resolves you're here for the action. And that's what's constant. Pitt's typical technique entails absorbing licks until Ladybug emerges triumphant as a result of someone else's bad luck, but even then he's enacting terrible bodily retribution. Each contains prop humor as combatants blend their surrounds to keep throwdowns interesting while violence remains at a brutal level. Premium deaths include chopped skulls, half-faces, and various gory spurts with terrible brutalities. Beyond on-screen text fonts and neon brightness like under Tokyo's Night Skyline, the influence of Japanese Yakuza movies is not lost on Leech, because if you put peace out in the world you get peace back I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living bullet train isn't an unstoppable action comedy showcase, but it's comfortably entertaining as a gunpowder milkshake of influences from Quentin Tarantino guy Richie Jackie Chan and countless care. Brad Pitt is as appealing as fists and knives. It's bloodier than imagined, hits punches at the perfect times, and pleases with painful combinations worth crowd-pleasing smiles. The lunacy of David Leach's train never flies off the tracks or achieves maximum speeds, but it nonetheless takes us on a smooth and solid joyride that outshines its contemporary American action competitors.